tired. Wild like wild. Uh. Ah. Hello, welcome to the Wild Review on the Wild Reviewer, and welcome back to Rewild, the series where I sit down, take a look at some old Wild Review videos, and I give my thoughts on what I said years ago. That's how the show works. Today I'm back in the black shirt that I wear when I sleep, and that's because we're taking a look at a Wild Review that I made very last minute, I remember when I did this wild review, it was filmed the second I found out about this topic, and it was uploaded, I believe, the next day. I don't think I edited it that night. I filmed it, and then the next day I edited it, and then I put it up. But it wasn't put up on the usual day that I put up wild reviews. I think back then I used to put them up on Tuesdays. And on the top of my head, I can't remember when this was put up, but I do know it wasn't on the usual Tuesday. And that's uh, because I, I said it in the video. I made it very clear this was not my normal wild review day, but I decided to make it anyway. Today's topic is about the Nicktoons movie. Uh, in early 2016, one night I was scrolling through a bunch of stuff and I came across an article that discussed plans for a live action slash animated hybrid film about the Nicktoons. Classic Nicktoons from the 90s, and it was going to be kind of a, what is it, a, a Who Framed Roger Rabbit kind of movie. And I got very excited about it, so I just jumped in front of the camera and decided to talk about it. I couldn't wait until after the following Wild review had gone up. I, I just got in front of the camera, just talked about it very briefly. It's not even a review that I gave, it, it was more of just a discussion. Remember, this was 2016. Uh, so this was about five years ago that plans for it went forward. This is when it was announced. So let's jump back in time and let's see what me from 2016 had to say about the announcement of the Nicktoons movie. It's about 9.39 right now. Uh, it's Thursday, January 28th. Right now, though, I'd like to talk about something that I recently just found out in the news. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, it's very interesting, um, this piece of news. Apparently, all over the internet, they're saying that, um, there will be a Nicktoons movie. Um, and this is pretty... This is pretty big. I, again, so that it's very obvious that, uh, in this particular video, I just learned about it. I was kind of looking for the right words to say this wasn't scripted, it wasn't planned ahead of time. I literally just found out about a Nicktoons movie, so I think me talking about it, but also the way I'm talking and uh, the way I look even, I can clearly tell that I just found this out. Apparently, um, I guess it was, it was either put out today or yesterday, but it is very recent. Uh, Jared Hess, who directed films such as Napoleon Dynamite and Nacho Libre, um, he's apparently going to be directing a Nicktoons movie, and, um, it's not confirmed, though, <laughs> about this whole thing. This is, uh, this is just all in the news that apparently this is happening. It was put out on some website. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what original website this was put out on, but this is just exploding all over the news, and as soon as you type in Nicktoons, the first thing you're going to get is probably Nicktoons movie work in progress. We don't know if this is going to happen. We don't know when this is going to come out. We don't even know if it is real. But apparently, this is pretty big. <laughs> At the time, I didn't know it was real. I did not know if this was a real thing. For all I knew, I could have just been talking about something that I found online, and I think the mindset that I had was, if I put this video out there, and I found out later on that it was fake, I was probably going to take it down. Because why would I have a video discussion up of uh, a film that wasn't even going to be happening? Apparently they're going to be put uh, together in a live action animated film. They're going to combine live action with um, animation again, uh, I, I guess. That, the best way they put it on the internet is it's basically going to be the same thing uh, as Who Framed Roger Rabbit, if anybody has seen that film. If you haven't, I would recommend it. It is, it is pretty great. I, I don't really remember it as much, but I remember watching it as a kid. It's, it's a fantastic film. I'd guarantee uh, you to watch it if you're bored one day. But this is pretty big. It did. It, it seemed really interesting. I think the idea that uh, 
a bunch of Nickelodeon cartoon characters were going to come together in the form of a Roger Rabbit movie, or at least with the, a similar idea of Roger Rabbit. Something about that excited me. I, I think it's got something to do with the idea of just a crossover in general. I do really enjoy crossovers. I think a lot of people enjoy crossovers. But there's something about seeing childhood icons come together for a story or an adventure that is extremely exciting to watch. Especially when most of these characters, at this time, haven't been on TV for years. Like, when's the last time anything new came out of Ren and Stimpy? But let's say it did happen. Again, we don't know if this is going to happen or not. Let's just say it did. There are a few questions that I myself and probably everybody else are a bit concerned on. First off, are we including new Nicktoons? Because I wouldn't be bothered with it that much, but... I don't know. It's just... The new Nicktoons aren't that great. I've watched Sanjay and Craig, and it's nothing but fart jokes. I don't know what Pig Goat Banana Cricket is. I watched the first episode and wanted to throw up, because that's what it looks like. And Rabbit's Invasion, I thought, ended three years ago. That was a that was a pretty good question. What about the new Nicktoons? At the time, you had SpongeBob and the Fairly Odd Parents uh, still airing, and those two shows were already kind of milking it, essentially, with uh, the stories they were telling. They they would not die. Eventually, the Fairly Odd Parents would eventually cease to exist on the network. But SpongeBob, like we've established, is still going. They were the only Nicktoons out of the original Nicktoons run to last that long. I don't think around this time when the, this news came out, The Loud House was airing. Because it did air in 2016, but I think it aired in the middle of 2016. But with that said, around the time that the, whenever this movie was going to come out, I'm sure they would have had uh, a part to play in some way. So it is questionable whether or not The Loud House would have been involved with this movie. I don't remember exactly what Nicktoons were on around the time of 2016. I believe the Penguins of Madagascar were still on TV. I know I did a video where I took a look at what was airing on Nickelodeon, uh, I believe in 2015, which is one of the videos that we're going to be taking a look at later on in the Wild Review Rewild. Um, we're not going to look at it now, obviously, since it's got its own little video coming, but I, I want to say Nicktoons in 2016 was a combination of Spongebob and Fairly Odd Parents and a bunch of CGI shows. Like, yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which was acquired by Nickelodeon, um, and a bunch of DreamWorks shows. But I guess the question still stands, would those DreamWorks shows, would those fit in with this Nicktoons movie? I mean, would they even count towards the Nicktoons movie? Those were the questions. What cartoons were going to be part of the film? What cartoons were going to be left out? Those are the questions. The cartoons that are on now on Nicktoons aren't really interesting. And it's not even that. Are we taking old cartoons that were on Nickelodeon and new cartoons plus the new Nicktoons that are on the Nicktoons network? If you don't have Nicktoons network, because I know some people don't get the Nicktoons network uh, for their TV, they have a lot of different shows that have never been aired on Nickelodeon. They have apparently this NFL show. They have Wild Grinders, which was created by, um... Oh, what's his name? Rob Deerdeck. There we go. Was Wild Grinders a Nicktoon? Can we, like, legally classify that as a Nicktoon? It never aired on Nickelodeon. It only aired on Nicktoons Network. And it is really bad. I don't think we can count that. I don't think Nicktoons Network shows would have been counted for the Nicktoons movie. M mostly because when's the last time anybody has talked about Wild Grinders? I mean, let's, let's be logical past me. When has anybody ever talked about Wild Grinders? I forgot it even existed until you brought it up! So that was all I had to say about the Nicktoons movie announcement. And now an update for me in 2016. It did not happen. There is no Nicktoons movie. For years, I actually forgot there was a Nicktoons movie in development, but it wasn't until recently I did a little research about the Nicktoons movie, so this way I had something to add on to it, because obviously nothing has come out of that announcement. Thought I'd update everybody on 
what the status was about the movie, and I go to find that it was cancelled. Now, is it for sure cancelled? Absolutely. I typed in Nicktoons movie in Google, and one of the suggestions that came up brought me to a site, the Cancelled Movie Fandom, and it discusses the Nicktoons live-action movie. So it says, in 2015 it was announced a Nicktoons live-action animated crossover film with Jared Hess as the director, the script being written by Hess and his wife, Jershua? Jershua? I'm not even... His wife, his wife helped, and was going to be produced by Mary Parent and Kale Boiter. But in reality, the film was not going to be made despite its announcement. So number one, I did not know that it was announced in 2015. I could have sworn it was announced in 2016, so I guess I was wrong on that. So I guess I must have just gotten the news in 2016. They were going to make a Madagascar 4, that's interesting. So the plot is currently unknown. It is still unknown what the story of this movie was going to be. I guess they never got that far. So for the cast, they were going to have Tom Kenny as Spongebob and Doug, obviously. Dog! The word is dog! Chris Hardwick as Otis. Otis being from Back at the Barnyard, which I forgot. That was that was a Nicktoon. Not, not at the time. Oh, that would have been really interesting. Otis talking with Spongebob. Yeah, that would have been a little weird, I guess. Asher Bishop as Lincoln Loud. All right, so I guess the Loud House was going to be involved. Uh, they were going to have Alvin... Oh, they were going to add Alvin and the Chipmunks. Jim Cummings as Cat. Well, it's nice to know that Spongebob, Cat Dog, Back in the Barnyard, the Loud House, and Alvin and the Chipmunks would have been involved in this Nicktoons movie. Here's why the film was cancelled. So this page states four reasons why the movie was ultimately cancelled. The first one says, according to Rocco's Modern Life creator, Joe Murray, Paramount Pictures rejected the film's pitch written by Hess. Well, that helps a lot, doesn't it? You're not going to tell us why it was rejected? I guess we can only assume that they just didn't like the story. But then what was the story? Why, why aren't we being told the story then? Reason number two, Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon refused to do anything with Ren and Stimpy again in March of 2017 due to the failure and negative reception of the 2003 adult spin-off Ren and Stimpy adult party cartoon. Is that a real thing? I've never seen that. I gotta be honest, even though I did reference Ren and Stimpy earlier in the video, I've never really seen anything Ren and Stimpy related. I've seen the Happy Happy Joy Joy song. But that's all I've seen regarding Ren and Stimpy. I haven't seen a full episode. Reason number three, Steven Hillenburg, who created SpongeBob SquarePants, was strongly against crossovers and aging down characters. Well, this aged very well, didn't it? And this is going a little off topic, but SpongeBob has crossed over with other Nicktoons before in the Nicktoons video games that they've put out. So I'm, I'm curious to know like what Steven Hillenburg thought about those. Huh. And I'm now thinking of it, why is it that Nickelodeon rejected a crossover movie with all the Nicktoons when they're still putting out Nicktoon crossover video games? Didn't they just announce an all-star brawl video game just a month ago? I don't, I don't get it. And finally, reason number four, Doug, who was one of the first Nicktoons to air on the network, was acquired by Disney in 1996, and Nickelodeon does not have the rights to make any Doug-related products. Uh, while the other three reasons are probably reasonable reasons why the movie was scrapped, ultimately, the fourth reason I could definitely see being a problem. Like Ren and Stimpy, I've never seen Doug, I've never watched an episode, but I do know there are two different versions of Doug. You have the Doug series on Nickelodeon, which I'm assuming is the actual cartoon, but then you have Doug, which is owned by Disney. I know there's a, a Doug movie that is owned by Disney, and I, I, I think that's all that was acquired by Disney, just the Doug movie. I'm curious to know how this even happened. I guess I gotta do a little research on this aspect, but I'm curious to know why Doug, who once used to be owned by Nickelodeon, is now technically owned by Disney. Very curious. 
I'm a curious boy to know what happened to Doug. So that's it with the Nicktoons movie discussion. I guess past me would be very disappointed to learn that the movie was cancelled, but probably relieved to know that it was in fact a real movie. For a while, again, I, I did forget this was a thing, and in fact I probably would have been convinced that it was fake, but I'm glad I did a little research on it to learn that it was real, but it was just rejected. And I, it is a big shame that it was rejected. I think, I think a movie like that would have done extremely well, especially since things are coming back. I mean, we're in an age where Nickelodeon is essentially bringing all their old nostalgic properties back. They brought Blue's Clues back, they brought iCarly back, they brought Rugrats back, they won't let Spongebob die, but they're bringing that back into different adaptions. They're doing a lot with Spongebob. Nickelodeon is obviously acknowledging how great the 90s and early 2000s era of their network was and is obviously bringing them back uh, to touch the hearts of the kids nowadays. But if I had a say in anything, I definitely think uh, a crossover movie with all the classic Nicktoons would have definitely been awesome. Uh, so, yeah, that stinks. We never got that. But hey, we have the video game that is supposedly coming out, which I guess can serve as the crossover that we wanted. Hang on, Ren and Stimpy are in that video game. What is this about you don't want to do anything else with Ren and Stimpy? Well, that's my take on the Nicktoons movie discussion that I did. Sad it didn't come out, but it gave us a good thing to look back on, see my old little 17-year-old self discuss a movie about cartoon characters meeting each other, and then took us on a nice journey to figure out why exactly this movie wasn't made. Thanks, Disney. You were kind of the reason why. That's all I gotta say about that specific topic. Now I wanna hear from you. What did what did you think about this whole discussion? What did, what did you think of a Nicktoons movie? Would you have liked to have seen a Nicktoons movie? I sure would have. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you give it a, a like, do whatever you want. If you wanna subscribe, sure. I don't usually ask people to subscribe to me, but if you like my stuff, it wouldn't hurt if you subscribed. If you didn't, that's okay too. I don't care. Thanks for checking this out. I'll see you next week with another video that I'll be taking a look at from my past. Thanks for watching the Wild Review Rewild. I'm the Wild Reviewer, and you just saw me review a thing. Wild like wild. Uh.